Hello everyone, here I am with a secret of mental maths for you. So when you do additions or subtractions in mind, you should know your complements. What do you mean by complements? Complements are a pair of numbers where the number is obtained by subtracting a number from its base. I'm going to tell you what does that mean. For your example, 1. Complement of 1 is 9. Complement of 2 is 8. Now, can you see what, what have I done? When you round off, when you add up the two numbers, you get a base of 10. That's, that's what is called a base of 10. How far is the number from 10? That's what is your complement. Now, for 1, the complement is 9. That makes up 10. 2, the complement is 8. When you add up, you get 10. Now, the complement of 3 is very simple. 3 plus what will give you 10? That's 7. So, complement of 3 is 7. That's what you need to understand. Now, complement of 4, quickly. Complement of 4 is 6. Complement of 5 is 5. Complement of 6 is 4. Complement of 7 is 3. And complement of 8 is 2. And complement of 9 is 1. So, this is how you know all your complements. So now, let me tell you how far it is from 20. Now, if your base is 20, now I'm going to write down how far is the number away from 20. So, you need to write down the complements like 16. So, what will be, what will be the complement? What we will add to that to get 20? So, that's just 4. So, complement of 16 is 4. That's what it means. Now, complement of 12. Quickly, it's 8. When you add 8 to 12, you reach 20. So, that's what is your complement. Complement of 12 is 8. Complement of 14 is 6. Complement of 17 is 3. Complement of 11 is 9. This is how you find out the complements. Now, let's move on to another thing. How far it is from 40? So, how far from how far the number is from 40 so here your base is 40 now quickly you have to tell me if i'll tell you a number you need to tell me the complement 31 it's 9 when you add 1 as you already know the complement of 1 is 9 so you quickly told me the 31 complement of 31 is 9 okay 36 it is 4 how you have told me because complement of 6 is 4 32 complement of 32 8 because complement of 2 is 8 now 34 complement of 34 is 6 because complement of 4 is 6 that's how you do it quickly now let, let me give you one another example that's how far is the number from 100 how far it is from hundred so here the base is hundred and now we have to do it quickly because the level has increased now it is two two digit numbers like for example complement of 37 so you don't have to write down hundred and then subtract 37 from hundred then whatever carry overs and then tell me the answer no this is what is mentally you are going to do it this is mental math. So, you are going to do it mentally in your mind. So 100 minus 37 will be very quick for you in mind. 37. Now, 37. Complement of 37 is 63. Now, how quickly you can do this? I'm going to show it to you right now. Now, you need to understand this. This is my trailing numbers. Trailing numbers means the ending numbers. So, these numbers are my trailing numbers, right? When the trailing numbers here sum up to 10. So, here you need to, uh, you need to remember that the trailing numbers sum up to 10. And these are the leading numbers which are at the starting. So, the leading numbers sum up to, sum up to 10 nine the leading numbers sum up to nine and the trailing numbers sum up to ten if you remember this you can tell me quickly the complement of any number now see 
7 plus 3 will give you 10. 3 plus 6 will give you 9. So this leading number should add up and give you 9. Trailing number should add up and give you 10. So how quickly you can do it? Now let me give you some examples. 45. The, now what is the complement of 45? 4 plus what should give you 9? That is 5. 5 plus what should give you 10? That is 5. So complement of 45 is 55. So Amazing. what is the complement of 76? That's just 24. 7 plus what will give you 9? That is 2. And 6 plus what will give you 10? That is 4. So 24 is a complement. What is the complement of 57? So what will add up to 5 to give 9? That's 4. What will add up to 7 to give 10? That's 3. So 43 is the complement of 57. Now quickly, quickly, what is the complement of 17? That's just 83. 1 plus 8 will give you 9 and 7 plus 3 will give you 10. Okay, 66. Quickly, that's 34. 6 plus 3 will give you 9 and 6 plus 4 will give you 10. That's how you find out the complement. Okay, quickly. 81. So what is the complement of 81? That's 19. 8 plus 1 will give you 9 and 1 plus 9 will give you 10. Okay. So now this, this is what it works with the numbers that are not multiples of 10. Now you might tell me, okay, how far is 60? How far is 60 away from 100? The rule does not apply for the multiples of 10. If they are not multiples of 10, then this rule applies for the numbers like the leading numbers should add up to 9 and the trailing numbers should add up to 10 but for multiples of 10 you can simply do it in mind what is the complement of 60 you can immediately tell me 40 what is the complement of 20 it's 80 and so on this works now this is the complements which you have learned you need to have practice uh, either like uh, if if at all you don't do practice you cannot go ahead with anything you will be stuck there itself and if you want to become like a human calculator your mind should be a genius you need to have practice in maths practice makes everyone perfect now uh if you if you liked my video so just hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe and your like and comment as i always told you it means a lot to me even if it is anything you can just write it in the comment box and if you have any doubts particularly you can write it i'll be happy to post a video for you thank you so much guys stay tuned for another mental math trick which which is going to be subtraction and uh, many more lot more tricks after that so bye bye take care